One of the things I like best, most, about Barack Obama uh, is the fact that people who normally would believe that their government really cares about them and would never harm them or would never experiment on them or would never commit genocide upon them, those people, those traditionally conservative people who believed that uh, boy George W. Bush was actually their savior, now they're starting to see that yes, you know, uh, the government will experiment on you and will try to kill you and will take your food away and will take your ability to uh, have a life if you do not do exactly as they say and exactly what they want. So Barack reached a lot of really hard-headed people and even though I don't approve of course in, of the way that it was done um, because <laughs> I am like a victim squared now of this government uh, it is reaching a lot of people who normally wouldn't believe that their government could do something as nasty as um, attack their livelihood or corrupt their commerce. Uh, keep up the good work, Barack. Uh, we love to see this now that even the most ignorant people in America are waking up. Perhaps they'll realize just what part their churches have played in all this, and perhaps they'll... Um, maybe not discard their one book or their favorite book but actually pick up a few other books and start to read now one thing um, I definitely do not like about Barack and his type are the um, intimations that uh, if you do not have a so-called world-class education you are not to be numbered among those who count in any way whatsoever um, there are these constant uh, references and such to the world-class education of uh, the United States government, uh, all these grants available to go back to school and things like that, when in fact the schooling in America has amounts to nothing so much as mind control anymore. Sure, you can go in and you can use a lot of good machinery and a lot of good equipment in the schools today and have access to um, assets and resources that aren't normally available to everyone. These, of course, are resources that came from the collective product, which, of course, the government took over decades ago. So there's no other way that you're ever going to get a hold of uh, the experience to work with this advanced equipment and things like that now, except by going to the government schools. And along with learning the things that you want to learn, there are many other requirements to a world-class education. And you should understand that those requirements are basically your conditioning into an order, a uh, so-called new world order, where American ideals are not paramount, where American ideals are actually looked down upon and considered to be detrimental versus um, beneficial. Also, you learn in schools how to network among the types of people that you are. This will allow you later in life to enforce your superiority, not reinforce, but enforce. What good is superiority if you cannot enforce it? These uh, world-class educations allow people to work in teams. This is how Homeland Security and the Ivy League boys have taken over intelligence and that kind of thing. The churches have just become one more way for Americans to gang up upon each other. And it's not good enough if everyone's eating well and healthy. There's always got to be someone to kick here in America. Um, this is the basis of this society or what it has become. It was not always like this. But, you know, not only must one uh, become superior in one's finances and what one has, one's stuff... But then it also must uh, be enforced by taking away other people's stuff and so that you have more. And this is just something that's been going on worldwide now for quite some time. It's made the world the enemy of America. This is all machinated. This is all something that's been created um, 
so that when America finally falls, the world will breathe a collective sigh of relief and we can get right back into the mind control and slavery game like uh, the people in Monsanto require or the people in the government require like the Bilderbergs or the Council of Foreign Relations, you know, the Clintons, the Bushes, the Barack Obamas of the world. They're all the same. Harry Reid's, Nancy Pelosi, they're all the same. Sarah Palin, they belong to a very small club, and the whole uh, point of this club is to belong and to enforce your belonging by um, enforcing your superiority. And as I just mentioned, the basic way of doing that is to grab as much as you possibly can from other people so that they have less and you have more.